hello welcome back this is patch 1.014 first off i'm humbled by the feedback that i've gotten so far thank you so much for providing feedback providing bug reports through email through the feedback tool and through the discord channel i appreciate all of you for sending that feedback it helps me make the tool better so based on your feedback i fixed again a large number of bugs so i hope your experience of using the tool gets better and better every week so here are a bunch of new things for point of zero one four. First off, the rail stick mountain bay six. Um, so in the bay scan base, I had a range here called rail stick mountain. This is essentially the rail stick mountain shooting facility in Benton City, Washington, where I shot the recent uh, Inland Empire match. It was really really fun match. I remember scanning this last year and I missed basic so um, I went down this time around to shoot a match and I managed to get basics yeah so that's basics for you so for those of you who are building stages there here you go now you can have a complete match next two things is there was a feedback about uh, using uh, when you replace an object, you want to be able to retain the size so for instance if you had let's say Let's, dr let's drop a berm. I think somebody, somebody gave me an example of using the berm. So you have this berm here, right? And you can resize them by using the arrow keys. Let's say I make this, uh, I don't know, skinny and maybe short like this, right? And then let's say I don't want the green one. I want to replace it with something else. I press O. Now if I select any other one, let's say this gravel berm, it will retain the size now. It doesn't like ignore the size. Yeah, and thanks for giving me that feedback. So now you can change and retain the size of the objects. Next thing is in sim mode. So let's say I drop a few targets here. And we go to sim mode like this. Uh, oh, hang on. Let me just go back to here. Drop a, a, a wall, maybe. Let's say a wall with a... Like that, right? And so in sim mode, uh, you, you have only uh, three different positions. You have standing. You have crouch and you have prone, right? And somebody was asking, why can't we control the height of the player? So now you can, with your mouse wheel, you can scroll up to go higher, scroll down to go lower. So now you can crouch, semi-crouch if you like, right? You can do that. So so by moving the wheel, you go up and down, and hopefully that would uh, help you position your simulations much better. And the last piece I have is locking. Um, so... Uh, you know that we have a, a way to do locking by hitting L. So if you select an, a prop, let's say I drop a few more other props here like this. Um, and if I want to lock this barrel from moving, I just hit L. And now what happens was instead of having like an icon at the bottom when you lock something, I also highlight the object as red. And once it's locked, you can't drag it, you can't pull it, you can't move it. You can move other things but not the locked objects. Uh, what's really cool too, locking works in groups so you can... Let's say unlock all this and let's say if I multi-select it, let's say I select this, this and this and I hit L on this, all three of this in the multi-select will be locked. Or you can turn it off by hitting L again. Uh, it also works in groups as well. And now you can also uh, undo and redo locking. So if you lock an object and then you want to undo it, you can he easily hit uh, Ctrl Z or Ctrl X to redo. So those are all the enhancements I have for you in patch 0.14. I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, I wish to continue to thank my Patreon subscribers. If you wish to support my cause, I hope you become a Patreon subscriber by visiting that URL. So that's all I have for you in this patch. I hope you all have a great weekend. Wishing you lots of alphas and I'll see you on the range.